St Mirren had lost all four of their league matches in Paisley ahead of their contest with Inverness Caledonian Thistle. Mackay, the touch on to Williams. Nicely done by Christie. Shinny across, Mackay goes for it! But his joy is short-lived. The flag was up on the near side. Mackay marginally in front. And it was offside. Kenny McLean. And play on, says referee Willie Collum. John McGinn has a go. And flashes over the top on his 20th birthday today. That's loose from Riley. Total miss it. And now Ryan Christie could be in here. Takes it early. And it was relatively easy in the end for Marion Kello. Mackay, Christie, first time ball forward, and cut out. McGinn to ball, and here's Marwood, back to Callum Ball, who looks to love the goalkeeper. And it's just over the top. He scored twice in St Mirren colours, couldn't make it a third, that was a real chance. Shinny forward, Mackay, nicely on to Watkins, who's... A man in really good form. Across it goes. Christie Mackay. And saved at point blank range by Marion Kello. Christie's effort deflected by Mackay. It's a really fine save. Tanzi. And that one swirling in the wind. And out came Kello. And it looks like Willie Collum has awarded a penalty kick. And he's coming over to show Mark McCausland the yellow card. He had a hold of Gary Warren's jersey. And it will be Greg Tanzi who fires it cutely into the corner past Kello. Really well taken penalty kick for Tanzi's third goal of the season. Kenny McLean. There's not much time left in this first half. And in goes Christie with the foul. Well, it's going to be another yellow card. That is the seventh yellow card of this first half here in Paisley. McGinn. Now Ball. McGinn again. Drury on the right-hand side. Drury hits it. And close to finding the top corner. The man on loan from Manchester City. He scored two goals already. Kenny McLean battling with Christie. And Christie could be in trouble here. Willie Collum's got the red card out. It's a second yellow. And the youngster has been dismissed just five minutes into the second half. He first won the ball back from Kenny McLean. And then just with the studs up on John McGinn. McGinn. And deflected. Good stop by Dean Brill. He had to wait. This one hit off the inside leg of Gary Warren. McLean. Kelly. It's a good ball in and met by Brown. And Caldwell was unable to keep the ball in. Well, is it going to be five defeats at home in a row in the league for St Mirren? That hasn't happened since August 1969. Tremarco. It's well worked. And it finds its way to Mackay. McGinn loses out and it's Sakaya. He's got support too. Raven well forward. Now returns it for Sakaya. And on his debut, he couldn't be the hero. Perhaps should have taken it on the left foot. John McGinn. Kelly, they're queuing up for St Mirren now. It's Naismith, nicely worked onto the right boot. Tremarco came out with the challenge. The home support certainly feel that they had a good shout for a penalty kick there. Time is running out. Can St Mirren find one last chance? It comes to Goodwin at the back post. Charge down and eventually Inverness hammer the ball clear. And the full-time whistle is blown.
A hugely frustrating afternoon for Tommy Craig, but for Inverness, they break a run of three straight defeats on the road.